And there's the retraction of that first umbilical. T minus 25 seconds and counting, are just a few seconds away from the second umbilical retracting. That begins the engine sequence start. And we have engine ignition. The engine's coming up to flight speed. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Progress 92 cargo craft bound for the International Space Station. Soyuz booster arcing out to the northeast. Roll pitch and yaw, all nominal. Engine performance nominal as the Soyuz heads downrange. 37 seconds into the flight, all parameters reported to be normal from the blockhouse in Baikonur. Punching a hole through the clouds, heading into an orbit 51.6 degrees inclined to the equator. Engine uh, chamber pressure is nominal. We've passed the one minute mark into the flight. Yaw, pitch and roll all reported to be nominal. Passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, 25 seconds into the flight. About 25 seconds uh, remaining in first stage performance. Everything looking good on the Soyuz booster, standing by for first stage set. And we have confirmation of first stage separation on time. Two minutes, 16 seconds into the flight. Second stage up and running, good stabilization on the vehicle reported. So far, all of the structural parameters reported to be normal from the engineers at the blockhouse in Baikonur. Second stage performance is by the book, according to the engineers. Six minutes of powered flight remaining. Three minutes, 11 seconds into the flight. Everything going well. The launch shroud has been jettisoned. The progress being propelled uphill on the uh, power of the second stage engine on the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Three and a half minutes into the flight. Five minutes of powered flight remaining. Nothing but good reports coming from the blockhouse in Baikonur so far. We've now passed the four minute mark into the flight. The liftoff time was right on the money at 2.32 and 40 seconds p.m. Central Time. Second stage performance continues to be nominal according to the engineers 
in Baikonur. You're looking uh, at a live view from a balcony camera at the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Koryov on the outskirts of Moscow. Those uh, flight controllers will take over control of the uh, vehicle. The progress itself following uh, its separation from the third stage of the Soyuz booster. And we have uh, confirmation of the shutdown of the second stage engine. The Soyuz being propelled now by the third stage engine. There you see the second stage, the third stage skirt jettison and that view on the center screen of the Russian Mission Control Center. Five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, everything looking good so far. Five and a half minutes into the flight, so far so good. The uh, progress uh, being propelled uphill by its third stage engine on the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Three minutes of powered flight remaining. Now we have a better view from the uh, camera on the upper stage of the uh, Soyuz booster. If we uh, hold this uh, view, we should be able to see third stage shutdown, spacecraft separation, and the deployment of the solar arrays on uh, the progress itself. Six minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, two and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Third stage engine performance is nominal. Six minutes, 48 seconds into the flight, just two minutes of powered flight remaining. So far, everything has gone uh, by the book. All of the milestones having been passed in trip hammer fashion. The uh, yaw pitch and roll, all good. Good structural stability on the Soyuz booster's third stage. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Seven minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, one minute of powered flight remaining. We're expecting third stage shutdown at the eight minute, 45 second mark, followed just seconds later by spacecraft separation. Passing eight minutes into the flight. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. All uh, the parameters on the third stage looking good. The third stage engine beginning to tail off now as we stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Third stage shutdown confirmed and spacecraft separation. The command should be issued momentarily for the initiation of the deployment of the solar rays and navigational antennas on the progress. And there they go.